The islands have always been a mystery. Since the beginning, over 1500 years ago, when the first Polynesians arrived, following the light of the eastern star called Manalo. With only the stars to guide them, they sailed 2,000 miles in canoes to migrate to the islands, and they believed that they had finally found paradise. But paradise is an elusive thing, as long as man exists. But this time new foreigners came, perhaps seeking this elusive peace or bringing us a new peace. In 1820, the Thorntons and Hiram Bingham came to the islands to bring us the good news. Well, Reverend, I hope it's what you expected. It's more. What are you looking to do here with these savages? They're people, Skipper Jack. They're naked. It's all right. Tell that to Captain Cook. They were not warmly received when they arrived in the village. Our people have long memories, and they remembered the ghost of Captain Cook. They also despised the whalers who preyed upon our women. All was not well. What do you want with Ali'i? Uh, I have a letter of intent from Papu uh, Akia in uh, Boston. He arranged a meeting for both myself and Chiefus. We should go. This is not safe. They don't want us. Leave them be, Kanoa. Ah. Uh. I am Chiefus Kapiolani. Ah. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, Chiefus. We didn't expect you to be so young. <laughs> it is rank that met us here in the islands, Reverend Thornton. Not age. It is a pleasure to meet all of you. Come, Makana, Kapu, help them with their luggage. Ah. You have a beautiful country, and you speak English so well. The British sailors taught us, starting with Captain Cook's men 50 years ago. Ah. Uh -huh. Henry, don't provoke them. The chief is, has everything under control, right? They're gesturing towards us and pointing. Come, come, stay with us. We didn't know what to make of these new visitors. They were not like the others, the whalers who only wanted to drink rum and possess our women. These people were here for something else, and it made all of us uneasy. The woman you encountered earlier in the village, who was alarming everyone, that is Priestess Kanoa. Yeah, I saw. Not everyone is like her. The gods are extremely angry with us. <laughs> I don't believe in God. Only I believe in myself. Yeah, we can see that, Skipper. The gods. Yes, Pele. She is god of the volcano. It is she who shaped the sacred land. We fear her greatly. Henry. Where are we going? I'm so tired. I need to rest. Why are you here? We are just here to... to help. Are you here to convert us? No. Only God can do that. Why are you here then? To help. We want to help you in any way we can. Why do foreigners always think they can help? You brought guns to our islands, remember? Hey, those guns are here to protect you too. From what? Other guns. So sorry. Is there something wrong? The goddess is very angry. War is prevalent. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Your goddess is an angry goddess? Pele is temperamental. She devours the land. She is a goddess who settled on Halema'uma'u, along with her husband, Lohio. It was when Lohio kissed another woman, her own sister, that she covered him in lava. And uh, how do you appease her? By sacrificing. Sacrificing what? Humans. 
didn't always practice human sacrificing. It is when a priest from Tahiti brought the practice in. His name was Pa'ao almost 900 years ago, but it was abolished by King Kamehameha II only a few years ago. But some are trying to bring it back. Who on earth would try and bring back such a barbaric practice? Your Pele sounds like a very jealous god. Does it not say in your holy book that I am a jealous god? That only means, that only means that we shall have no other gods before him. How dare you judge us when your culture has the same practice? I am not judging you. If I were to judge you, you I, would I, know it. I would just suggest we are not trying to fool you. So what truly is your purpose here then? We spoke with one of your people in Boston. He came to us and shared that there was struggle and suffering among your people. And our faith moved us to go forward and travel 10 months in hard conditions on a broken down ship. We came here to assist you, to, to build, to, uh, to help you with planting and caring for the sick and for sharing good news. Good news? So the truth comes out. Over there is your hut. Kapu, Makana, take them. Okay, I'm going to head back to the ship, and I hope they don't have too much ketchup here. Why? Well, to put on you after they cook you. Good luck. Farewell. Walk. Heli. Mahalo. Mahalo, mahalo. I knew that was why they had come. Our ancestor, Henry Opukahayo, went to their land several years ago and died. But his spirit brought back this good news. It was about their god, but we already had gods, many of them. Why would we need one more? What would compel them to travel all this way to tell us about their one god? Wahiki maina enami. Aole mai ka ikeia. So the ship is leaving? Yes, it's going back to England. And you and your friends have stayed behind? Yes. Ai <laughs> Kono <laughs> Oya kamo olelo. A ohe mana ikola kwa kwa. What do you mean by that? Pele is angry, but her anger will subside. I'm not talking about Pele. All due respect, Chief S. I'm talking about the God who created heaven and earth. The God through which all things were made. Nothing exists without him. May I introduce you to Akira Endo? Nice to meet you. He is a samurai warrior from Japan. My pleasure. How did you end up here, Mr. Endo? I was the Japanese ambassador to Holland under the Tokugawa Shogun. But pirates overtook our ship, and I was taken hostage. 
Incredible tale, sir. Why are you from? America. Would you look at that? Bloody missionaries. If they keep this up, they're going to convert the entire bloody island. Aye, that's right, they will. Well, blind, I'm not going to let that happen. Without whiskey, without rum, without women, what left is there? Nothing! Nothing! Nothing. It's an outrage! Let's go, boys. Ah. This man does not believe in Pele. Do you, Mr. Thornton? Answer me. I believe in God. That's all. Henry, what is going on? Come. What is going on? It's all under control. Control? Yes. I heard them. They want to kill us. That's... that's Kanoa. She has some kind of... Uh... This is insanity. We must leave. God will protect us, Mary. How can you be so sure, Brother Psalm Lyra? 91. Words will not stop a spear from piercing your heart. God is in control, Brother Henry. Yes. God is in control. This is insane. We must leave here. I am sorry for what has happened. I will do everything in my power to protect you. But... But what? You must be careful. The priestess Kanoa, she is very powerful. And she has great influence on the people. A foreign woman. I don't know why she came here. She is so miserable. I feel sorry for her. I don't know how much longer they intend to stay. Oh, Henry, the mosquitoes are everywhere here. Yeah, just blame it on Captain Cook. Go, 
Kulu. Kapu! Elamai! Abidi! Kapu! Elamai! Kalau mayau ikut kai kunani, pele kalle ale a, kipa lalu, love ya, aku tak mau, Arika, Arika, aku tak mau, Arika, awal dia awi hari ni ke kai melo ai ke iya, ke ulu, oh oh kapu, love, awal, Arika, aku tak mau. Blame it on Captain Cook. <laughs> what? What does that mean? He brought mosquitoes to the island. Or should I say mosquito larvae? They were in the water they brought aboard the ships. Uh, did he bring anything good? Yeah. Cows, goats. Good morning, Vernon. Good morning, Makana. Miss Mary. What's going on there? Our sacrifice has escaped. What sacrifice? A couple. Why did they choose him? They claimed he stole from them, but it's not true. If Kanoa and Alika get their way, he will be drowned or sacrificed. I thought they abandoned the sacrifice of humans. We did, but Alika and Kanoa wish to return to the ways of the past. This is madness. Mary! Mary! Mary, where are you going? Stop! Stop! How could you bring me here? I, you wanted to come. No. You told me that these were a peaceful, loving people. Well, I hate them. I hate every last one of these filthy, worthless savages! Mary, please. Your words are accountable to God. These filthy, worthless savages, they are God's creation just like us. They have a soul just like us. Why should I care what God thinks? God cares nothing for me. If he cared one whit about my welfare, I would be in Boston instead of on this wretched island. You brought me to this godforsaken land, half a world away from everything and everyone I have ever loved, and you expect me to be gracious as they prepare to sacrifice a man? How are you going to share your faith when you despise them? 
<laughs> if you think that they want your faith, then you are a fool, Henry. They want nothing from you, and yet you continue to try and ingratiate yourself with them. What is it that you want? Maybe you'd like one of these Hawaiian women for yourself? <gasps> oh, oh my God. I'm so sorry, Mary. Please. God, what have I done? I hate you. I curse the day that we met. You will never lay a hand on me again. Mary. Be careful, Chiefess. What do you mean? We don't know what their intentions are. They have come to Japan to force us to trade. We refused. And? They threatened to take over our country. Be careful. Fine evening, good sir. May I help you, gentlemen? Gentlemen! <laughs> no gents here. Just us boozing, whoring, good for nothing sinners. Right, preacher? I'm not here to judge you. <laughs> oh, you're not? What if I did this, huh? Bah! I sinner now! Ah! Get him again! I sinner now! <laughs> Stop it! Stay out of this, That's old man. Enough. This doesn't concern you. I said, that's enough. <coughs> what? Who are you? Go in peace. Boys, let's go. Let's get out of here, come on. You are not well received, Mr. Bingham. <laughs> I guess not. So, why are you here? <sighs> to tell people about God. I cannot believe you travel this long a journey for that. There must be another reason. Like what? Like you want to force these people to trade with you. I assure you, I have no such intentions. Americans came to Japan to force us to trade with you, remember? That's not why I'm here. I'm here for something more valuable. And what is that? I'm hoping to find out. I don't agree with this, Mrs. Thornton. But I cannot go against what the priestesses say in regards to Pele. There must be a sacrifice. 
if they were not to go through with this. The volcano might erupt and completely cover this island. You truly believe that? Pele was exiled by her father because of her anger. The last straw was between her and her sister, Namaka Okahai, whose husband Pele had seduced. Pagan barbarism. What happened? Nothing, I'm okay. Did someone attack you? Yes. Who? Who did this to you? The sailors. Why does God allow all of these worthless beasts to roam the earth? Mary, we must love our enemies and even pray for those who persecute us. Otherwise, what difference is there between us and them? Sometimes it is not possible or practical to live out God's word. Mary, keep the faith, Mary. I have known Kapu for many years. He was a good man. He does not deserve to die like this. I watched them put him on the altar. I became filled with rage. What God requires a man to die for its appeasement, and if it isn't appeased, will erupt and destroy more innocent lives. These foreigners speak of a just God. Who is right? I know that is wrong. It is. I knew Kapu. He is not a bad man. I'm sure he wasn't. Love Oya. Mary, are you all right? Mary, please talk to me. I can't believe this is happening. They sacrificed a human life just to appease some pagan god. Henry, please take me back home. I don't want to stay here. We don't belong here for the love of God, Henry, please. I should have said something. No. No. We can't. This is, this, this is their land. Not ours. We can't forget that. We can't forget that. And so two months went by and we watched these missionaries from a distance unsure of what to make of them, they continued to persevere.
Meanwhile, the foreign woman becomes more frail by the day. I fear she may not live much longer. She is so weak and fearful. Mary, I may never have said this to you before, but I love you. I'm so sorry for what you've had to go through while you're here. It's I promise to have you on your first boat home. You have my word on this. I promise, Mary. That was incredible. You did pretty good for your first time. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have any children, Mr. Bingham? I did. But, uh, my son passed. And shortly afterwards, my wife died. We sorry, Mr. Bingham. How you overcome such a loss? God. He helped me through it. Kawahine Okohoa. Anakama Ano. She's not adjusting well, unfortunately. Is there anything we can do to help her? I don't know what to do, honestly. Except pray. You pray? To God? Yes. We're going to die here, Henry. No, God will protect us. If there is a God, he's not here. We need to go home. I will take care. I made a promise to you, and I'll have you on the next boat home, and I'll be with you. I promise I'll never leave your side. God help me. Uh, help me know what you want me to do. Oh, I've utterly failed in every way. My wife despises me, Lord. She'll never forgive me. God. Did you just send all of us here to die? It seems neither of us can sleep tonight. Oh. No. Oh, that's true. That's true. How is your wife? She's not well. I'm afraid she's not well. I'm sorry to hear that. Is there anything I can do? No. No, she's... He's being ferociously attacked by a terrible, terrible enemy. Enemy? Yes. What enemy? 
Satan. The devil. Ah. Uh, yes. The enemy of all. Tell me something. Why does our God require a sacrifice and yours does not? There was a human sacrifice, and his name was Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. You said this Jesus was God's son. How did he become a human sacrifice? For what reason? He let himself be killed as a final sacrifice to appease the wrath of God for all of our sins. Now I'm really confused. You and Hiram spoke of this God of love. Now he is a God of wrath. Which one is it? It's hard to believe in a God that could have so many facets to his personality that he could love his children, bring the grace of forgiveness to the whole world, and still have such anger against those who sin against him. But why would God want to sacrifice his only son? Why not an evil person who deserves it? Because it was a perfect sacrifice. The only acceptable sacrifice to God. A God who sacrifices himself for humans. That intrigues me. Have a good night, Mr. Thornton. Good night, Highness. Good night, Chiefess. Father God, please help us. We came to bring the good news about your son to these people, but it's been anything but good for us. Please, dear God, bless my wife. Help her recover, if it is your will. The next ship arrives in less than two weeks. The missionaries have now been on our island for three months. The woman missionary is doing poorly. We offered her meat, poi, but she cannot eat what we eat. Perhaps their holiday celebration will lift her spirits. For you? We'd love to, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Mahalo. 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 Kelly Hello, Mr. Thornton, I'm Kana Vahine. Aka e noho o a Mr. Bingham. O pau i ka ele. O vau o ke alihi vaine o ke o hana. Ma muli o ka uka o hae pono e haa lele. E po ino i ko mako o hana. O like la ko me kuk e o po ino la ko ko ka ko o kua. He po e o ole lako. He hea. Pono lako a pau e holo i ka moku hou. Kanoa has the entire islands in the grip of fear. No one wishes to listen, even to possible truth. Look at all. Look at all the stars. How many are there? A billion? A trillion? We come here, some of us, away from our families and our homes. But to spend Christmas with others. And 
any sacrifice for the sake of Jesus Christ is rewarded much more. Reverend Henry, Makana to you. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you, Makana, and Merry Christmas for you. May I join you guys? Yes, please. So nice to see you came. Akira, yes? Can we sing Silent Night for you? Yes, please. Bless us with your beautiful voices, young men. Ready? Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy is in so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. Let's sing it again. Silent night, holy night. Ke nei no alakai no oe. Ua hele o i ka ho ulu ulu kaliki maka. A ole mau popo i a u. A ole au e lohe i ke kahi mea. E like me ia. He aha ihana ai. Ua ike au, i ka malu hia. Ke aloha, ka hauuli. He aha kau e olelo nei, a ole no oe. Pehea ina, o ia io kela. O ke akua, he akua o ke aloha, a ole ino. E olelo vau he mea nani loa keia. Manao ko mako po e Henry opukaha ia. Ua manao o ia. Ua kaka o ia. E pili ana i keia. Yesu? Aka. Aole mau popo ia u. E kia li'i. Ai e moa ia e e kolu mau lā. O vai. Makana. Makana? Oia kā. A ole. Puna mātou e hoa pāu i ke ia. E ka moi. A ole hiki. Kau oha ia e kū. A ohe au huli no ka mātou ali. Ka meha meha. Ua hoa pāu ka moa hai ana o nāka naka. Ho o pau ia ia, no nga po e haole. O make make mākou i kou mākou a mea pono. O make o ia mākou, pau kou o mana ana i kou mākou a kua? Pehea ina. Haole kou mākou a kua ke ala vale no? Pehea ino aia, ke a kua e a e? Woki, ke ai nei oe i ka hana, a ka po e haole e kou moi loko kou nga au. He aha ano a kua pono ka mōhai ana o nga kanaka. He kanaka maika i o a makana. A e hoa maki ana māka o iaia, e hoa olu i ke kahi a kua. E ike ole ia? Ike ole ia? E aka hele i ke ke ali i. A i a oe maka palena no ke ku amu amu kue i ka māko a kua. O pau, wai ana o ia. I 
nana oi ke kahi wahi make make i ka oi ai o if you exist show me Mary, Mary, this is the freshest food you will ever find. Much fresher than in Boston. And look, the villagers, they gave you a gift. I'm so sorry I brought you here. Merry Christmas, Mary. Merry Christmas. Is she okay, Hiram? She's suffering from some sort of breakdown. I don't know what to do, honestly. Henry is with her now. Well, what about prayer? Yes. Prayer. Who prayer? He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you. No evil shall befall you. Makimake <laughs> Mopopo e kela e ni nao mau wa ya ya e pule ya pele a ole he o ya i o e kahea na awi na kupuna.
Glad he survived. Oh, me too. Me too. I'm so sorry I behaved oh, so no. terribly. I made a fool of myself no. and I brought shame no, on our no, entire No, you didn't, Mary. I can see it in their eyes. You were so brave to come here. No, in the first place, I should have seen before we came how difficult it would be here for you. Oh, Mary. I'm so proud. So proud of you. Oh, yeah. And just like that, Mary became a new person. The heavy veil of oppression lifted from her. It was the beginning of a new day. So beautiful. Yes. It is so beautiful. Who's talking about you? Me. Henry. You find me beautiful? Yes. What's going on? They are sacrificing another of us. Again? Who? Makana. Why? Because his father was an enemy of our king. God give us strength. Akawala velave kumaku akani. Noali ikali keli. Ame muli o kela uia. Enemy o ia ikumaku ali. A ole au ya ia. Kalamaya. Waiana. Oi. Kaka yaka ya ku ame pele. He hena. He hena ke ya. Love you, love you. He hena. Helen, what's wrong? They're sacrificing again. A human? Yes, Makana. Not Makana, this can't be. We have to stop this. I don't know how we can. Henry always says that we shouldn't interfere. Look what good that did last time. I'm not going to stand by and watch an innocent man be put to death. It's only one of you, Hiram, with no weapons against all of these warriors. I'm sorry, Mary. I have to try. Makana is my friend, my brother. He's our friend too, but I'm afraid there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Mary. I have to try. <laughs>
the hell are you? Le hupo makau yaya. Ai mo ai ana uya. A ole oye holo i ke o hana e alika. E bau vale no e pane aku ya pele. A me ku. E mi lako i kamo ai kanaka. A ole. A ole vau e ai i ke ya e alika. A ole au e ai aku i ka hau mia o ko makau aku. Hiki no ke makau kama aina. Ki maki no kamo hana. Nā nai luna, ua hū hū ka lua pele. Ke ua a one iau e ho opakele i ko mākou kau hale mai, ka luku i ana, e a kau ana. Are you going to let them sacrifice Makana? What choice do I have, Mr. Bingham? I cannot go against what Pele asks. Tell them to stop. It is up to the gods. Be quick, Hiram. Yes, Chiefess. How are you, Makana, my brother? so sorry for the trouble we got you in, my friend. I am to die tomorrow. I need to know the truth about your God. He's not my God. He's everyone's God. He can be your God, too. It's too late now. It's never too late. As long as there is breath in your body, the Bible says he who calls upon the Lord will be saved. Is it possible? Yes. It's a wonderful thing for God to sacrifice himself for us. Brother Hiram, please, my wife and children, make sure they are taken care of. Please. Yes. Of course I will. What I wouldn't give to go searching again. Hello, my Makana. I am taking his place. I said, I am taking his place. You can sacrifice me instead.
is Hiram with them? He must have done something wrong. Hiram, what are you doing? What is going on? Alika! What's going on? Stay back! Alika! Alika! I am lucky. Walk through! Ellie! Why are you holding Mr. Bingham? He said he will be sacrificed. What? What? No. I don't have a family. Makana does. Hiram, this is not our affair. Hiram, this is madness. Please Put tell him no. Let me do something! Chief, please! No. Kali ho ka oa. Ono e moa ia ia. Puaki! Ko ui ko au pahi i lalo. Ua o lelo au uaki. Ka poe! E ha alohe mai i au. No. Hiki ia oi ke ho mana o ko make make. Ke o lelo ne oi. Hiki ia oi ke ho mana o ko make make. Wa hi ne ino e pe pe hi o pele ya ma ko a pau no ko ho ole. Ke mana o ne vau he nui ke akua. A ole hi li na i oi pele. A ole. Aole au, he akua akua malihini mai pora pora. E keali i wahine, ua au wana kula ka noo noo i kahi e? Hiki ia oe ke hoa mana o keau akua. E hoa oe a i o i ke akua mauli. Pehea. E hele aku i kalua pele e i ke oe. I shall do that tomorrow, when the sun rises. In the meantime, release Mr. Bingham to me. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oku. Oku, ya. Let go. Come, come. You're safe for now. You're safe for now. All right. Please, I'm... E makea 
Ana o Kapi Olani. Ah, e maki na malehini pu. Why? Lako a pau. E oki ana i kola ko ivi. E pono ane ke ia. Hiki a mako ke kauvale ya lako maluno kamoko ame kamoko. Alika, make make oe e ho e mi au. Hiki no. You are the only one that wants them dead. Alaila, elilo au e alii. Ina eola mako. Eola ana mako akahino e make o kapi olani. Ole oye hana nei ke yano pele. A ole a nei? E a hako mana o. O ke ia ka mana. Make make oye lilo ia li ibahine. Mai hana pela. We must leave now before the villagers arise. I have a boat waiting to take you to Oahu. Why? If I do not return, you will be killed. You will return. Either way, you should leave. If we leave now, then our faith means nothing. The priestesses, they're very powerful. They may have us killed before this all plays out. No one has ever returned from the volcano. Sweetie, that was so beautiful. You were wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Listen, she's arranged for us to leave tomorrow morning on the boat. Why? Because they're going to kill us if she does not come back. I believe she will return. No, I know. I, but we can't be certain. I'm not concerned about myself, but I cannot let anything happen to you. I am not afraid to die as long as I am with you. I know. I know. I know. It will be all right. That's We're right. in God's hands. Just come with me. Okay. Come on. Come here. Jesus, I love you. I know you are the Son of God. I know you are the savior of the world. Please be with me as I go to the volcano. And if I die, I look forward to seeing you. Ahui ho, e ha'alele ana o. A e ho'i ho o. Iki ali vaine. Ke olu olu, ke ni nau nei au ia oe, ma ki anō o kou kau. Haa haa, mai hana i ke ia. I ke ali, a ole maki maki ma kou. E ke ali i wahine, e noe koi koi ke ia, mai hele. Helinahi i kekahi i nā mea oia i o ole. Olelo na mo olelo. E maki ana oi na i hele i hale ma'u ma'u me ka mo hai ole. Ma'u popo. No Laila, e maki ana o. Hila hila ya oi. E kanaka hili na i ole oi i liki me lako. No one touches them while I am gone. That is a direct order. They will be unharmed. But if you do not return by the end of the day, they will die. Leave them be. Alika, it is me that you want. Keli, I'm willing to die today. And we will kill you both. Will she be safe? Yes. Should I accompany her? 
I've heard that no one ever comes back alive. She's in God's hands now. stayed. Why? You knew the consequences if I fail. We won't desert you. Your faith is our faith. You're our sister in Christ. We will stand with you until death. You are truly my brothers and sisters then? Yes. 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 We are one family now. Yes. Please. Please forgive me. I behaved so despicably when I first arrived here. I, I treated you with such contempt. I was a poor example of a Christian and a woman. And yet you embraced our faith. I know now that I am no better than anyone here on this island, and in fact far worse than you with your extraordinary courage. I know you do not have any reason to forgive me, but please understand that my bigotry was only mine. It had nothing to do with them. Please forgive them. Please forgive all. <laughs> Mary, we have all been lost once, but now we are found. We are all children of our God. Be at peace, my sister. I love you. I love you too. Courage. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God is with us. God be with her. Prove yourself. Show yourself. Prove yourself to me. Are you asleep? Kill them! Kill them! Kill them all! All of them? Yes! He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, I will say in the Lord, He is my refuge and my strength, and Him I trust. It is unfortunate that I have to come to this. You have shown great courage. But we must follow orders. We pray to die. Away! Oh, <laughs> 
She's alive. She's alive. She's alive. She's alive! <laughs> Let them go. They are free to worship the volcano god if they choose. And we are free to worship our god. The truth shall set you free. You can worship any god you choose. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord Jesus Christ. There will be no more killing. No more sacrifices. No more religion. You are set free from this bondage. Enough! Did you hear? There will be no more killing. This is our chiefest, and you will obey our command. Go! Mahalo. Kalamai. No ukaeva. Mau no ka o mana mana ya pele a kahiki ke a o epiliana i kau akua. Yeah! That was the most courageous act that I've ever seen. It was not my doing. I was led by God. It was a miracle. We were afraid you wouldn't come back. I had my doubts. It is a cause for celebration.
Who are you? A man. Just like you. It was a cause for celebration. I felt something on that mountain I cannot describe. A hand of someone who protected me. And so it was. I finally understood what the good news meant. We found a new freedom we hadn't known and a God who deeply loved us. People tell me what a courageous act it was to challenge the volcano. But it was courage, born from the love of God. The love I had been searching for all my life. Thank you.